Hello everyone, welcome to Master Tutti's Step by Step Guide. In this video, I will show you how to configure HTTPS for your site in AWS. Let's begin. Here is the site name mastertutti's.com where you can find all IT related contents and guides. As you can see, the site URL is not showing secure. Let's make it HTTPS and secure it. I hope you have already created an account in AWS. Sign in to your AWS account and navigate to your console page. In PPC, I have created a separate PPC for the master to teach site. If you want to host your site on AWS, please find the previous video tutorials. In EC2, I have created a separate instance for the site. The instance is running and the site is loading from this instance. Now, to secure the site with HTTPS in services, search for the certificate manager and open it. Navigate to register a certificate and click on it. Request a public certificate from Amazon. Click on request a certificate. Now, Add the domain name of which site you want to make secure. Mine doing for the site master2teach.com. Next, need to verify the domain name. Either you can verify from DNS validations or email validations. If you have permission to modify the DNS configuration for the domain, use DNS validations. Otherwise, you can use email validation. In email validation, the verification mail will send to these domains mail IDs. Make sure you do have access to one of these email accounts. Me going with DNS configurations. Next, add tags. You can add tags as per your reference. Review. Domain name, mastertutees.com. Okay. Validation method, DNS, confirm and request. Okay, it's showing pending validation. For validation, create a CNAME record in the DNS configurations. You must complete this step before the AWS Certificate Manager can issue your certificate. We will create a record in Route 53 after the verification process. Let's process for the DNS validation. Access to the site where you had registered your site. I have registered in the reseller account. Login. Here are all details of the domain master to tease. Navigate to DNS management. Here it is. Click in the manage DNS. It will open the admin area of the domain. Navigate to CNAME record and click on it. Add CNAME record. In hostname, just paste the hostname which we had copied before. The domain name already exists, so let's remove the domain name. Here is the remaining hostname. Moving further, in value as well, just copy the value of the CNAME which was given from AWS. Simply paste the CNAME values over here. Add record. Okay, one CNAME record is successfully added. Name and values is over here, which status is active. Move to Certificate Manager of AWS. Continue. It's showing validation not complete. Navigate to create a record in Route 53 and click create. The DNS record was written to your Route 53 hosted zone. It can take 30 minutes or longer for changes to propagate and for AWS to validate the domain and issue the certificate. We need to wait for a AWS validation process. So I am pausing the record over here. Okay, let's refresh the page. The 
the status changes to issue successfully. The validation status is success now. Let's move further. In the next step, we need to create a load balancer. Open the EC2 page. In the left side menu, navigate to load balancer. Let's create a load balancer. Different types of options are available for creating load balancer. We need to create an application load balancer. Click create. Step 1. Configure the load balancer. Give an appropriate name of load balancer. Sigma. OK. IP address type IPP4. OK. In load balancer protocol, add a new listener. Select HTTPS. Secure HTTP option, whose port is 443. In PPC, choose the respective PPC. Also, check the availability zone. It requires at least two availability zones. Scroll down. Next, configure security settings. Certificate type. Choose a certificate from ACM. OK. Certificate name. Choose a respective certificate name from the drop down list. Security policy. OK. Next, security group. Create a new security group. Give a proper name for the security group. Next, configure routing. Target group new, OK. Provide a name for it. Target type, instance, OK. Protocol, HTTP, OK. Advanced health check settings, OK. Next, register target. Select the instance and click add to register. Here it goes. Next, review. Review all settings and click on create. Successfully created load balancer. Let's close it. Now, select the load balancer and navigate to listener tab. In listener, click the HTTP listener ID. Scroll up and click the edit button. Here is the default action which needs to delete it. Click add action and select the redirect to options from the drop down. Here redirect to HTTPS port 44 and 3 and click on the check marks to save it. Now we need to update it. Update successfully modified listener on port 80. Checking back seems all fine. Let's check in the site. Refresh. Last job to do. We need to update in Route 53 hosted zone record set. Go to Route 53. I have four hosted zone in my account. Click on it. Click in your domain name. Switch to the old console. This is all the details name server and record set. To know all about these, please find my previous video tutorials. Here, we need to delete the record set and have to create a new record set with the following configurations. In allies target, choose the load balancer from the drop down list which we had created just before. After all, let's check in the front. Refresh. Now, the site is secure with HTTPS. In this way, we can configure and use Certificate Manager to secure our site with HTTPS in AWS. I hope you learned from this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out for more in IT tutorial and guide on the website master2tease.com and we will see you again soon. Bye.